Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. It's a nice breezy day here, not very warm. And uh, what, what you saw yesterday on the video was the uh, the cat layers and the sheaths. But then I mentioned that the golf green wasn't doing too well and I'd repot it. Well, this is the golf green. And I'm going to take it out of its pot, have a look at the roots, and I'm going to repot it in... Uh, some coconut husk which I've got. Now I had this plant over 12 months so uh, it's grown two new growths but uh, it's not doing anything so we're going to take it out of its pot and uh, hope you can see it from there. It's in one of these pots I've made. It's quite firm but I can't see any. Happy to see it's coming out in one block. There we are. But I think after 12 months those roots aren't actually searching for anything. They're just growing and thinking, oh well, you know, I'm here, I might as well grow. But I don't like them. Not very good. So I'm going to pop this up in some uh, as I said, some coconut husk. This up the best I can. Probably lose one or two roots, but uh, there's nothing really happening to this plant at all, as you can see there. I mean, all the roots are, I don't know, I'll tell you when I get down to it more. We're going to destroy some roots, but uh, there's been no nubbins, no nothing on it, which isn't natural. So it looks like we're going to have to start all over again with this one. So we'll take these off as best we can. Clean it all up and get it starting again because evidently this particular one doesn't like what it's in and uh, maybe because in the makeup of this one is another very difficult, uh, well not very difficult, it's, it's quite difficult, the Digbiana in it. it probably doesn't like what it's doing. Oh, that's a tough one, but never mind. If we break the roots off, we break the roots off. They grow again every year. Removing all this, uh, all this bark. We've nearly got it all off now. Breaking some roots here and there, and I'm not bothered. Let's get it out. They are a bit tough, these. These all were dead in the middle, so uh, we'll give everything a good clean up. There's part of the plant there that's uh, not doing much, so we'll take those off. Not a root in sight here, so that's been the big problem. So we'll get the scissors and start snipping away at the uh, roots. Just chop 
filming me that's it, I'm telling you that it's on here. Nice chop in there, I'm cutting some good roots off, but getting rid of the rubbish. Continue with that, I'll just come back to you. Well, this is the coconut husk, and I only got it, uh, only got it a few days ago, and uh, a heck of a lot of findings in it. So you don't get many uh, nice chippings. But uh, I've washed it twice. I've washed it in hot water. I've washed it in uh, calcium nitrate, and uh, this is its last one. And I'm just wondering what the TDS is. The TDS is 46, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that, no problem. The 46 TDS will be the results of uh, we. Wow, I nearly came a cropper there. As I was saying, the, the uh, 46 TDS will be results of what's left of the, uh, the calcium nitrate. So uh, we'll plug along. These are the coconut us. See? All nice and clean. Let's see how it does in this one. I think we'll just sit them on top. We'll not bury them at all. We'll just sit the uh, the plant on top and hope the roots shoot down into it. So if I put that in there, the way it came out. Just drop a few husks into it. Hold it for one or two of the gaps up. That's it. Put some down here. Press it in just to make sure the plant's firm. Not very scientific this, but uh, you know me and experimenting. And they're lovely plant these when they do flower. I mean that coconut husk is uh, it's very damp now, so it should. Or it shouldn't need watering now for another few days. We'll just let the coconut husk dry out completely before we water it again. But, uh, yep. That's about it. Nothing more to do now than put the label back in. Or a 
Royal Sea Golf Green cross between Moscombe and Digbyana. So it's probably the Digbyana that's caused the problems, not giving it what it needs. So that's that for that. So uh, that's another job done. Well, we'll just finish up by saying we've got one or two mazes coming into bloom. There's an Ignea. These are blooming very nicely. They're not open yet. Grandulosa, uh, Vecchiana, two nice spikes there. And uh, I think there's a Pixus there at the back, as you can just see. So uh, they're doing very nicely. They're doing very, really, really nicely. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, it's only a short video of this, but uh, uh, just did something that needed doing. And uh, let's hope that, uh, that it proves successful. There it is in its pot. So uh, nice plant. Sorry to uh, see it go downhill. But we'll, uh, we'll shove it in the house next week uh, under the... Uh, under the Moors Hydro lights and uh, we'll see how everything goes from there. So once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.